and welcome to Coco's Cucina. This morning I am bringing you guys something really, really wonderful for breakfast. Something very, very easy for breakfast. And um, something you can make your own for breakfast. So mine is going to be a quiche. And my quiche is going to consist of mushrooms, onions, green onions, and that's it. I'm not putting any meat in there, and eggs, of course. I'm not putting any meat and cheese, of course, and spinach. I think I said spinach. I'm not putting any meat in it, though. So I'm going to start out, though, guys, with my uh, Chinese green pepper oil. I am going to saute my onions, my mushrooms, and my green onions and kind of get them just to sweat in just a little bit. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and add that into my egg mixture. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and place it in the oven. But for now, this crust, I've already took my fork and I poked holes in it. And I don't know if you got it. Yep, there you go. Um, I poke those holes in it because I like to put mine in the oven just uh, for a few minutes because I don't like anything that's doughy underneath. So I'd much rather it be overcooked as a dough than under. That's just my preference. So I'm going to put it in here just a minute so that it'll get just a little bit of brown on it. And then when I pull it out, I'll go ahead and fill it with the um, quiche mixture. Okay. Oven is set at 350. Put it on the top rack, set my timer for about three minutes. And in my skillet, I'm gonna go ahead and get my oil in here. And guys, again, I apologize, but I'm working on getting that um, tripod together, baby, because it is doing the M-O-S-T. So, um, I'm just going to have to try to do my best at showing you what I'm doing as I go. So this here is uh, the veggies that we're going to saute, which are my green onions, uh, my mushrooms, and my onions. And we're just going to allow those to sweat in the skillet for a while so that once it does start to cook in the oven, you know, I won't have to worry about you know, my mushrooms not being all the way done like I like them. So to that, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt. Cover it, and then I'm going to turn it down to probably about four. And... All right, so here I have, oh Jesus, how come I can't, let's just see about this guys, this side, this is my eggs, I have five of them, and to those eggs I'm going to go ahead and just season them with my regular salt and pepper. Okay, season these with my salt and pepper and then I'm going to go ahead and get them with uh, I'm 
adding a little bit of parsley in here also. Just a little tiny tea nitchy bit. We got onions in there, but I'm gonna still add a little bit of onion powder. Okay. And then my salt. I would like to welcome you guys to the channel. Thank you so much for following me, and um, I appreciate you. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please be so kind to do so. If you're just scrolling through and you happen to find my channel, um, if you find it in your spirit to go ahead and click on the um, uh, subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated. Also, um, if you would, just like the videos after you watch them. Just go ahead and give me a like. Um, that would be truly appreciated if you find a video that you truly, truly like. And you want to share it with somebody. There is a button listed right there that says share. You can share the video. Um, and that would be greatly appreciated. So I just want to thank you guys so much. I really do. I know um, Rome wasn't built in a day. So... But just for my analytics, I know that, you know, I have a lot of people that watch the uh, channel, but they're not subscribers to my channel. And I understand that because I do the very same thing. But I'm just saying, if you are on my channel and you are um, enjoying the platform um, and the, you know, things that I do on the channel, you know, I just thank you in advance. I thank you for just viewing, stopping by. So eggs are beaten up nicely. My veggies are sweating to the oldies. Really, really nice and sweat E like Keith, sweat. E. So I'm going to leave the top off just for a while just to kind of burn up a little bit of the um, oil I put in there. That crust is almost ready anyway. So I hope and pray that all is well. Um, and again, I do apologize. I do have to use my um, ring light holder. Um, it's the only thing that I have now that can hold my cell phone. I have no idea what happened to this here uh, tripod. I mean, of course, it's fallen like a bunch of times, but I still didn't expect it to do all of this foolishness um, in which it's doing. So, um, yeah, thank God for the um, holder on my ring light so that I can, you know, be hands free. Uh, even though it doesn't give me the actual, you know, views and stuff that I want, uh, it's okay. At least you know what I'm doing. Just have to hold skillets up and back, you know, until I can get that done. But this is just about ready, guys, for me. Hold that back. And, yeah, it's just about ready for me. Um... Let it stay in for just a minute more. So now this is ready. So now the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let 
some of this here oil drain to the front of the pan. And while it's in the front of the pan, I'm just going to um, T got all of the veggies in there and the oil is still right there. Just going to strategically move those around. And now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, place my egg mixture on the top like so. I know you guys can't see it, so I'm going to raise this up my egg mixture, you can see that. And I'm just gonna strategically move the vegetables around like so. Okay, can y'all see that okay? I know you can't, it's kind of hard. Well, let's see, there it goes. I'm panning it down, so that's how it looks. And I'm going to add a little bit of cheese. Cheese is added. And now we're going to put this baby in the oven. Bottom shelf. All right, so once it's ready, we'll get a chance to sit down and chat amongst ourselves and eat and taste it, okay? All right, family, I forgot my most important ingredient in my whole recipe, which was my spinach. So I went ahead and sliced it up, chopped it up, and um, I placed it inside my omelet. I had it over in the strainer uh, draining after I had rinsed it. So I'm just going to add just a little bit more cheese on top of this, and then it's going in the oven. Alright. Alright, so this baby is ready to be removed from the oven. And hopefully you guys can see it nicely. Nice and firm, it's set, the eggs are done. It's a spinach, mushroom, and onion quiche. All right, so you know what time it is, right? We got to sit down and chat amongst ourselves. Yeah, um, so that's what we're about to do. 
people got to chat amongst ourselves. I'm going to try out the quiche and let you know how the quiche is. And then we're going to govern ourselves accordingly from there, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching Coco's Cucina. I truly do appreciate you very much, okay? All right, family. So just wanted to give you a little shot of the outdoors. This is what it's looking like this morning. Sun is shining, leaves are still completely covering the ground. It's a beautiful day. Okay, family, so we are going to attempt this here uh, tripod. I don't know how it's gonna work. I've got it kind of rigged up. So if you accidentally start seeing the floor, then you know why. It jumped out again okay so what I have is I like to eat my quiche with a, a jam so I made a jam with a mango pineapple and ginger so that's gonna be my jam that I'm gonna eat <coughs> excuse me I also have some beautiful grapes And then my beautiful quiche. Hopefully you can see that. And then I got me some bacon on the side. Paired with some water. But I think I am going to get some OJ. So just hold your little horses, okay, babies? So I'm gonna get some orange juice. All right, babies, I had to get me some orange juice. I put me a couple of cherries in it, and we are ready to give thanks for the breakfast and lunch combined. Um, so let's start with that, Heavenly Father. I come to you thanking you, Lord Jesus, for your goodness, and thanking you for your mercy. Thank you for you for blessing me to uh, be able to prepare the food. And in Jesus' mighty name, I love and thank you. Amen. Okay, guys. Yes. So let's get a little taste of the jam and a little taste of the quiche. Now I want y'all to try to see this quiche as much as you can. See how everything just stays together? You can see that spinach in there and everything, right? Yes. Oh my goodness. Can we say, I don't know, y'all already know what I'm gonna say, right? And I don't be playing with y'all. I just don't. 
you know, when it's good, it's good. Mm. And then to add a little bit of that jam, it's absolutely beautiful. These grapes are very good. These are from the Aldi's. But I do need them at room temperature because I don't like them when they're real cold. So, very good. And they're very juicy. I just leave them out. Not all of them. I just put a few of them in a bowl and I just snack on them throughout the course of the day. Okay, I'm gonna let you see a little bite of that again if you can. See that steam coming out of that? See all those spinach? Yeah, babies. Mm. So delicious. And this is the turkey bacon, of course. I do like pork. I do like pork bacon as well. But right now I'm on turkey. Okay. Yesterday I gave y'all some good views. when my tripod was really messing up. So, today, so far, has been a blessing. Oh, that's the garbage man's. Today, um, I don't have a lot on the agenda. A lot of stuff that I have to do. Um, I really do need to go price some black pops. Just so that I can um, see. I already know what I want. And I can do it online, honestly. I really do need to figure that out because my tablet is a blessing, but I really need, uh, and my desktop, my desktop is a little outdated. Um, so, with all that being said, I need to upgrade, upgrade. So guys, I truly hope that you guys try this. This is great. Like if you want to have like a brunch or something like that. Before the holidays or before dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, something like that. So good. So, so good. So good. And this 
Damn. Mm. My Lord. My Lord, my Lord. That's all I can say. So, other than that, babies, everything else is beautiful. Life is good. God is good. My family's good. I'm blessed. I have no complaints. My plants are all doing well, except for Don Cain. They should have never called him Dumb Cain because he's going to always have a complex and not want to flourish. But anyway, he was um, kind of on his last leg, so I was told that I had um, repotted him in a pot size a little bit too large so I only went up one size I think uh, from what it was when I purchased it but I went ahead and put him back in the same pot that he was in when I purchased him so then that way you know his little old roots can uh, be contained because I thought it I thought that they needed to flourish the roots but not with, not with them came. So I did that. Got him suited and booted, and I'm not gonna pay him any attention. I'm gonna just leave him alone. Um, if he looked thirsty. And then I'll give him some water. Other than that, I'm not going to do him like I do my other plants because he can't be treated like that for some reason. And I really need to do some more research. Um, I'm done cane also. Someone told me that that plant was used to poison Africans back in the day. I gotta find out how. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this is so freaking good, guys. So good. One of these days, one of y'all won't be here with me, eating with me. Mm. That was delicious. So thank you guys so much for rocking with me today. Thank you for uh, following my channel, subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching this entire video. And hopefully and prayerfully you will find it uh, a recipe that you would like to try. It's very easy. Again, excuse me guys. Again, you can... Um, Put whatever you would like to have in there. If you want sausage, you know, you cook your sausage prior to. If you want bacon, you can, excuse me, cook your bacon prior to. Now, the bacon, I would just definitely um, 
I wouldn't put my bacon on the inside. Um, I would just kind of sprinkle my bacon on the top, you know, like almost once it's ready to be taken out of the oven just so that it can maintain the crispiness. But you do it um, according to your likes and your dislikes, okay? I'm just kind of like giving you a roadmap, giving you the direction in which you should go. But yeah, the possibilities are endless. You can also serve it with a um, salsa. I just like jam with mine. But again, according to your likes and dislikes, it's all about you. So guys, thank you. I've been on here long enough, babies. So thank you so much. And until the next time, guys, remain sweet and kind. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Love you.